Fish on, guys, on the crank. Oh, this is a big fish. Oh, yeah, this is a big fish. Come here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. oh my goodness. Oh, my gosh, guys. Come here, dude. Come here. Come here. No, 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 no. Oh, my goodness, guys. Big old fish. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo -hoo! All right, all right, just chill, just chill. Guys, what? First cast on the crankbait and that's what happens, guys? What? Oh my gosh. Bro, I literally, this is the first cast on this crank. I don't even know how to. Bro. Bro. That's a healthy fish, guys. This is a five. This is definitely a five. Guys, look at that. Look at that on the scamp. On the scamp, baby. All right, dude, all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna let you go, I'm gonna let you go, all right? I know, I know. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you so much. Woo! That's why I love coming here, man. That's why I love coming here. First cast, literally. I thought I was hung in a rock. <laughs> but that scamp got it done, boy. Yes, sir. Oh my gosh, that's definitely a fish. I mean, and he smoked it. He smoked it. All right, dude. Stop, stop. There we go. You are out of here, bud. Fish number two on the scamp crankbait. I mean, it's putting it work. I just missed one. I just missed one right there. I mean, I don't know how he come off. That's a fish. That's a good fish, guys. I think it's a good fish. Oh, yeah, it's definitely a good fish. Oh, my gosh. Dude. Stay down, stay down. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Stay, stay down. Come here, come here. You even got yourself stuck on something. Hang on, bro. Hang on, bro. I'm coming to save you. There's somebody's lying in here. Bro, just chill. All right. All right, operation. All right, you hook pretty good. All right, all right.
Di mat. Nyaman. Let's see if I can get this out of my mouth. Woo! Woo! Yo! Yo! Another freaking tank, guys. Look at that fish. Look at that fish, guys. Freaking tank on the scam. 13 fishing scam. That's another five. Let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's what that's why I come out here, guys. That's why I come out here, man. Let me get this fish back in the water. Oh, you big guy. Oh, you big guy. Where are you going? You're going the wrong way. There you go. Let's go, man. Wow. See, that's, that's what was holding me up. Somebody else's fishing line in the water. The fish got hung on, well, the hook got hung on the fishing line. That's about, that's 10 pounds of fish right there, guys, on this little scamp. One to three foot diver. And I'm definitely retying this right now. They are crushing this thing. All right, scamp. Let's do it some more. Fish on, guys. What a scamp. Oh, this is a decent fish. This is a really decent fish, guys. Oh my goodness. Come here, buddy. Come here. That's what I'm talking about, boy. That's what I'm talking about, boy. What? Who was that? Uh -huh. Look how he ate it. Sideways. That's a good eat right there. That's what I'm talking about. This fish is fat too, man. This is like, this is like a, a two and a half pounder. Almost three. Let's go, man. This scamp is killing it, dude. Killing it. Feisty. Let's go. Let's go. That's what we're talking about. On the crankbait. God. We, we caught at least about maybe 10, 15 pounds of fish today. All the majority of the fish, those two big fish and that smaller little one pounder came off the 13 fishing scamp. Um, I mean, it just was doing his thing you know what i'm saying one to three foot diver um it's a lot of rock it's a when i say it's a lot of rock it's a whole everything is it's all rock so that's why i chose the shallow diver um because it will not go dive as deep into the rocks if you guys seen me 
when I cast out, here's a tip for you. When you cast out on a crankbait, because I know some of you guys are, are scared of crankbaits, or I'm not saying scared, but don't necessarily have, have a crankbait repertoire. And I'm telling you guys, a crankbait, I mean, if you pay attention to my videos, you know a crankbait is a way to go, especially a square bill right now. The bluegill are spawning. So that's why I chose the color that I chose on that scamp. And when you see me reeling, reeling down and I stop it, it's because I'm hung in a rock. So when you feel that stop, don't set that hook. Let it, if you're stuck in a rock, that rock is not gonna give. So just hold, don't move your line, nothing. Don't pull your rod because you don't wanna set that lure into whatever you're stuck on, you know what I mean? So let it go and it'll flow back up and then you can continue cranking. So if you see me pausing a lot like that, that's what I'm doing. And on the same token, if you feel like you're stuck and you stop it and your line is pulling back, that's a fish. Then you can go ahead and lean into them. So it takes a little finagling and getting used to it, but you can only get better at throwing a crankbait if you throw a crankbait. So, I mean, you see the results here today. The other thing that I caught uh, fish on was the Haze Dong Shad by Mega Bass. Um, of course, I was using my Luz Mach 2 setup um, as a combo. And I caught everything on the crankbait is my St. Croix Mojo Bass rod. It's a fiberglass rod. And I love it with the Luz American Hero attached to it. Gear ratio, 6-4 to 1. I really need to slow it down some more, but it is what it is. It works. I appreciate all you guys for rocking with me, man. Um, I can't tell you how much I appreciate all you. You guys are the dopest people alive. Don't let nobody tell you different. And until next time, keep them lines wet because it's all about the hook set.